What is your name? My name is Dan Daniel McLaughlin. Mr. McLaughlin, you apparently are suffering from Berger's disease, is that right? Yes, it is. Hold your hands up and show us what has happened to you. Have you had amputations to your hands resulting in their condition now? Yes, yeah, so all ten okay. all ten fingers. What caused your Berger's disease? Smoking cigarettes. When did you start smoking? When I was about 14, 15 years old. And did you have difficulty quitting smoking? Yes, very much so. Did you have, ampute how many amputations have you had in your life? Amputations, I'd say around 35 to 40. The total surgery is 52, I believe. And have you ever, um, did you continue to smoke after you had your first amputations? Yes, I did. And why did you continue to smoke? Because I was addicted, I couldn't quit. You've also had, apparently, a, a um, removal of your colon and your kidneys now are not functioning. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, what recommendation would you make to young people who are thinking about starting to smoke, thinking that nothing's going to happen to them and their friends are doing it, it's a cool thing to do? What would you tell them? I'd tell them never to touch them. That's exactly what I thought when I started smoking. And I also thought I'd be able to put them down any time. And uh, neither was the case. They, they got they they won. They got me good. And at this time, you have both of your legs amputated, a good part of both of your hands. You've lost your kidney function, and you've had your colon removed, and you have a colostomy. What is a colostomy? A colostomy is uh, basically I have to my bowel movements come out of my stomach now. I, have no, I no longer have the ability, capability of normal normal bowel movement. And at this time, what is the condition of your bladder? Uh, my bladder doesn't work too well either. I have it. Uh, I urinate almost entirely into a bag, and uh, with a Foley catheter. And my kid, I, I, my bladder has very little function. What function it does have, I can't sense or feel. So when it does decide to pee, I can't tell. So therefore, that's what. That therefore, the bag. What do you think of What do you think of the tobacco commercials that make it look glamorous to be a smoking? That you are either out riding a horse or that you're enjoying diving and swimming and other activities. What do you think about those advertisements to young people who see them? I think they're uh, false to start. Uh, I wish they'd have me on the throw me in the pool. <laughs> it would be quite a different commercial. They're not glamorous at all. And what it does to you is far from glamorous. And did you, how would you know if you might get Berger's disease? A young person that's watching this now, how would they know they might be the one that gets Berger's disease? How would they know that? Uh, they're probably the best way to sense it would be pain when they walk. That was the first sign for me, although he didn't put two and two together. We didn't. Basically, I had pain when I was 14 or 15 and started smoking. It was immediate. But no one, I didn't have a permanent disability at that point. To the, and we had, myself and no other doctors had put it two and two together and coined me with Berger's disease. But if a young person was they thinking... They used to treat me for frostbite and those kinds of things with the pain in my legs and feet. If a young person was thinking about starting to smoke, they can't go get a test, can they, to determine no, if they might no get Berger's disease? No, there's no test. And you found that cigarettes were addictive, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, do you think for people with Berger's disease that the addiction is even greater than it might be for people without Berger's disease? I believe it probably is. I've read that it is. And uh, my life experience has taught me it must be, because who uh, who could go through twenty, you know, thirty amputations or more and not quit? I mean, that if I was a non-smoker, I would think that was impossible. Or if I wasn't addicted, I would think that was impossible. Do you think cigarettes ought to be readily available in in convenience stores and things like that for for kids to get them, even though there's signs saying that you have to be uh, an adult to get them. Do you think they ought to be 
visibly displayed like they are all over in our society. No, I don't think they should be legal at all. So this is where I've been sleeping lately. We got this hospital bed, this last hospitalization. Helps you in the bed They recommended it, yeah, with the bed sores and the elevation and all this. Yeah. So this is what I got to do to get in there. Got to watch out for this thing, that's for sure. Or you'll wish you had. This is the urine bag from the Foley, which and I have to take off. And do you hang it? Hang it right here. Okay. And then make sure it's not crimped. That's slack. So they gotta get close too. And this is how I gotta get in the bed. So there you go. Okay. And then you scoot and adjust scoot around yourself. or whatever, yeah. How, how how do you how do you sleep through the night generally? Not well. I don't sleep any length of time. And and I'm due to pain in my legs. So you still have. I have to right now. I'm not even supposed to be sitting up with this bed sores. I'm. This is another reason for the bed down here. You're the, supposed to be in the bed. I'm supposed to be in bed on my side. Well, maybe you can just stay there then, um, as we complete this. Um, it, it, the um, d does the fo Foley call you cause your problems during the night in terms of movement? Yeah. You know? Yes, it limits that. Right. It limits your movement for yeah. sure. I'm always. Do you have phantom? Headed. Do you have phantom pain in your yes. legs? Yep. In both legs. Yep. What is what does he mean? What do we mean by well? Family? That means like, well, for instance, I might have pain in my foot that I don't even own. I don't have a foot, but it will feel like my foot's killing me or some other appendage. You what know, about halfway to the foot? My calves might hurt or something to that effect. Uh, do you get phantom pains in both legs? Yes. How often do you have those pains? Almost every day. I would I would go so far as to say every day. Okay. And you are you taking any pain medication for? Yes, I do. Uh, they have me on morphine. They have me on oxycodone. And uh, some some I'm supposed to take re regularly, and some is an as needed type of thing. Okay. So if my legs hurt, I'll take a couple. I took two earlier today before this whole thing started.